I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 1996 Toyota Tacoma 3.4 liter automatic. Vehicle came in, engine running rough. Check engine light is on. So I scanned it and there was a code P0304. Number four cylinder has a misfire. So we're going to be checking out number four cylinder. Okay, this vehicle has a V6 engine. The cylinder order is 135246. So we're going to be pulling the number 4 spark plug wire. Okay, so I'm going to be removing number 4 spark plug wire. Okay, so we'll be checking the wire. Make sure there's no burn marks or holes in the wire. If you notice right here, there's a hole. The spark is shooting out from over here and grounding out into the cylinder. That's an indication the wire got to be replaced. But what we can do first is we go wrap some black tape around this guy. Try put it back in, start it up and try to see if it runs smooth. Okay, so with my black tape, I'm going to be covering this hole right here. And what we're gonna do, this is only for testing, yeah? So what we're gonna do is put the wire back in. Then I'm gonna start it up and see if it runs smooth. So I'm gonna start up the vehicle, see if the engine is gonna run smooth. So it is the number four spark plug wire that needs to be replaced. You cannot just buy only one spark plug wire. You gotta buy the whole set. So we're gonna be replacing all the wires and all the spark plugs. These are the tools I'm gonna be using today to do this job. A 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 extension, 5 8 spark plug socket, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, carter pin puller, anti-seize, and dielectric grease. These are the parts I'm going to be using today to do this job. I'm using a Denso spark plug and a spark plug wire set I bought from the Toyota dealer. So I'm going to be removing the spark plug wires on the driver's side. So I gotta remove this ground strap. Okay, so we're gonna be removing this. So I'm gonna be replacing the spark plugs. Okay, so I'm going to be putting some dielectric grease on my spark plug. So I'm going to be putting some anti-seize on my threads. Screwing it in. Okay, so now I'm going to be removing the air intake 
and putting it on the side so I can get access to my spark plugs. So now I'm going to be removing my coils and then replacing the spark plugs. So we're going to be removing this electrical connector, push this tab and pull it upwards. So we've got to remove this spark plug wire and remove this bolt, pull the coil out and change the spark plug. So there's a little tab over here, you got to lift it up and pull it up and remove the wire. Removing this bolt. Pulling out the coil. Removing the spark plug. So I'm going to be putting on some dielectric grease. Putting some anti-seize on the thread and putting back the plug. So I'm going to be putting back my coils, but first I'm going to be putting in some dielectric grease right into the coil. So I'm going to be installing my coil. So I'm going to be installing my boat. I'm going to be putting some anti-seize around it. Tightening up my boat. So I'm going to put some dielectric grease on this electrical connector. Okay, so I'm going to be putting my spark plug wires on, but before that, I'm going to be putting in some dielectric grease right in here. So I'm going to be connecting my wires. It doesn't really matter which side you connect first. But I'm going to be connecting the uh, driver's side first. So the way this thing lies, that's how it's going to be installed. Okay, so we're going to be mounting the ground strap. Okay, so I'm going to be removing these old wires. They are clipped on from the bottom. So we're going to be clipping these guys on. Okay, so we're going to be 
gonna be putting on these wires. Everything looks good. Putting back my air intake. Putting this hose on, this guy on, this guy on. Okay. Now we're going to start up the vehicle. So I'm going to be starting up the vehicle. So now all I need to do is reset the check engine light and then road test. So that's how you replace spark plugs and spark plug wires. If you have any questions comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I see you in the next video. Aloha.